Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic as a part of modularization technique. And our new topic is macros. We already covered include programs, function module, subroutine, then class methods is available in a BAP OOPS playlist. Now it's a turn to cover last modularization technique also, that is macros. So many people ask about this particular topic that we are able to see four modularization technique, but macros are not available. So now it's a turn to cover last modularization technique, macros also. So what are macros? Yes. It is also a modularization technique. Whenever we want to reuse a set of statements, we can include them in macro. Then we can use that macro in our source code rather than writing the same set of statements again and again. Whenever you want to reuse a set of statements, just include them in macro. Then we can simply use that macro rather than writing the same set of statements again and again. Suppose if I will go for the system and show you, suppose you can see in this program, we have same statement output is as follows. Output is as follows. Output is as follows. So I have written this statement three times. Now, rather than writing the same statement again and again, what I can do? I can simply create a macro. You can see we have a macro and in that macro, I have written this statement. After that, I'm not writing this statement. I'm simply using the macro. You can see the name of the macro is operation. So I'm using this macro after that. So whenever you want to reuse a set of statements, you can include them in macro. You can see into this particular macro, I included this particular statement. Then where you can use that macro in our source code. After that, I'm simply using that macro rather than writing the statements again and again. Whenever we want to define a macro, we always define a macro using define and end of definition. You can see we have define and end of definition. Anyways, whenever practical vista start, you will get the more clarity. So whenever you want to define a macro, we need to always go for define and end of definition. Now we will go for the creation steps. Whenever you want to create a macro, we need to always, always go for two steps. So macro creation is two step process. What is first step? In the first step, we will go for macro definition, means we will define the macro. And in the second step, we will call the macro. So we have two step process, macro definition, macro calling. We'll firstly define the macro and then we will call that particular macro. So firstly, we will understand what is macro definition. Firstly, we need to define the macro. Now, what is definition of macro? The definition of macro include the reusable set of statements. Just now when I started the topic, I showed you. Suppose you can see, this is the definition of the macro and this definition of the macro include the reusable set of statement. This statement, yes, this is the statement which I want to reuse. So into that definition, I simply included this particular statement. Now, what is the syntax to define a macro? Firstly, you need to use the keyword define. What is the keyword define? 
After that, you need to give the name of the macro. So in this case, what is the name of the macro operation? After that, you can simply go for the statements, whatever the statements you want to reuse. And after that, you need to simply go for end of definition. So whenever we want to define a macro, what is the syntax? Define name of the macro, then whatever the statements you want to reuse, and then you can go for end of definition. So first step, you need to define the macro. Now, what is the second step? In the second step, we need to call that macro at the various steps or various places. We can say various places. By mistake, I use the word steps. Now, next step is we need to call that macro at various places inside the code. And what is the syntax to call that particular macro? You need to simply, simply pass the macro name. You can see the code. We have the macro name operation. So I simply called that macro. So this particular macro will simply display output is as follows. I'm simply using the macro at this particular line of code. I'm simply using that macro at this particular line of code. Whenever we'll go for practical part, firstly, I will start with this basic example only. So a syntax to call a macro is you need to simply, simply give the macro name and you just need to call the macro at that particular line of code. Now, the most important part is whenever you want to call a macro, firstly, define that macro. Suppose into this particular case, you can see I defined the macro at 17 number line and I'm using after that. Suppose if I'm defining the macro, suppose if I'm defining the macro at 38 number of line and I want to use at 21 number line, it will give me syntax error. So please, please define the macro first. After that only you can call that particular macro. So I will simply firstly define the macro and then I will simply, simply call that particular macro. So what is the summary of this particular video? Into this particular video, we started with our last modularization technique that is macro. Now, yes, it is a modularization technique. Whenever you want to reuse a set of statements, just you can include them in macro. And after that, you can use that macro into your source code rather than writing the statements again and again. And just now I showed you, suppose into this program, we have this statement. We have this statement again and again. So what I did, I simply created a macro with that particular statement. And after that, I'm using that particular macro. Whenever we want to define a macro, we always define through define and end of definition statement. Whenever we want to create a macro, we need to always, always go for two steps. Firstly, we need to define and then we need to call. Now, what is macro definition? Firstly, you will create macro definition. Why you are creating a macro definition? So that in that definition, you can simply write the reusable set of statements. What is the syntax to define a macro? Definition, name, sorry, define name of the macro. Define name of the macro, then after that, whatever the statements, then you can write end of definition. Now, next step is macro calling. Next step, in the next step, you can simply, simply call that macro at the various places inside the code. And how you can call that macro, you can simply write macro name. And please, the important step is 
whenever you want to call a macro, please define that macro first. And I showed you if you are not defining a macro or if you are defining a macro and before that there is a calling part of the macro, you will get a syntax error. In the next video, we'll simply start with the basic example. Then we will go for macro with placeholder. We'll go for limitations. We'll go for comparison. So, but in the next video, we'll start with the basic example of the macros. So that's it in this video. Thank you.